In this video, we're going to simplify radical expressions using the uh, TI 89 graphing calculator. I did a video earlier doing it uh, the manual way. So, in this case, we'll use the calculator. It gets a little bit larger here. Okay, so we did it manually last time. Hopefully you saw the video. So this, in this case I'm just going to use the calculator. So uh, we have 3 times the square root of 8 plus parentheses. We have minus 7 and the square root 18 plus 3 times the square root of 12 plus parentheses and then all we have to do is hit enter and then we have it. we have 6 square root of 3 times the square root of 3 minus 15 times the square root of 2. Can't combine any further. Okay, let's do these. Go to the next one. Now in this case we have 2 cube root of 54 minus 7 cube root of 2. So again, got to simplify this out here. Using the calculator. So this will be 2. And then this will be parentheses. And 54 here. And here, this particular calculator, I have to use the uh, exponential to the one third to get a cube root. So parentheses here. 1 divided by 3 minus 7 and then parentheses again got a cube root of 2 root of 2 then an exponent of 1 third and that's equivalent to 1 third to the cube root rather of 2 so parentheses and then it's 1 divided by 3 and just hit enter. So I get minus 2 and power of 2 to 1 third, or that's the same thing as minus the cube root of 2. Okay, so I can write it as minus and then put it in radical form, cube root of 2. We have 7 over the square root of 5. That, that one's pretty straightforward. Again, remember, uh, you have a fraction, we cannot leave a fraction with a uh, radical in the denominator. So here I just say 7 divide by and second square root 5 close parentheses. And that's the simplified answer. Okay, now instead of the square root of 5 in the bottom there, we just got 5. Top we have 7 radical 5. We can have a radical in the numerator as long as it's simplified. So that's it for this one. Clear it. Now we got 1 over 1 minus radical 7. Again we got a radical in the denominator. So all I have to do with this calculator is put 1 divide by then put parentheses here. 1 minus square root of 7 and close parentheses hit enter and we get minus the square root of 7 plus 1 
I could write that as minus 1 minus the square root of 7 all over 6. But I could leave it in that form right there. It's, it's simplified. We got a radical in the numerator, but it's in simplified form. So that's all we have to do there. Clear it. Okay. Same sort of thing here. We have two radicals in the denominator. I did one like that uh, the manual way in the last video. So I'll just simply enter this 5 divide by, okay, parentheses, square root of 7. Plus parentheses there, and it's a plus square root, second, and square root 3. Parentheses and then parentheses again. Hit enter. Okay. So we have 5 multiplied by, in parentheses, the square root of 7 minus the square root of 3, all over 4. That's pretty much in simplified form. We do have a radical in the numerator, but it's in simplified form. Well, that's your answer. Clear? And this one here is strictly multiplication. Radical 11 plus radical 7 multiplied by radical 11 minus radical 7. So it's just a multiplication here. So put parentheses. And it's the square root of 11. Plus parentheses there, plus 7, plus radical 7, so square root, plus parentheses again, and open parentheses here, square root 11, close parentheses, minus square root. 7, close parentheses, and then close parentheses again, hit enter, there it is, your answer is 4. Okay, so you can do these without a calculator, you can easily do these on the TI-89 graphing calculator. Thanks for watching, we'll see you next time.